So guys, this is the workout, the lift camp for December 19th. It's gonna be upper body emphasize and Ken is getting right into the shoulder warm up. So we're gonna start with band pull aparts. We're gonna go through all three angles and we're gonna superset it with band dislocates. So he just did an incline version of band pull aparts. He's now doing band dislocates. You're doing that 30 seconds each. And then once you've done that, you'll rest 30 seconds. You'll go into a flat band pull apart and then into band dislocates. Again, each 30 seconds, followed by a 30 second break. And then you're gonna follow it up with the hardest one here, the decline band pull apart, keeping those elbows up and just pulling apart. Notice that Ken is not flex at the waist, hardly, okay? He's just pulling the arms out to the side, keeping the elbows up. You're not meant to do this bent over at the waist, okay? Okay, and then he's gonna go to the bend. Dislocates again for 30 seconds. Abs tight, glutes tight. Abs tight, glutes tight, that's right. Okay, and we're gonna run through that whole sequence another time. So two rounds of each, okay? Next, we're gonna go into flat barbell bench press. We're gonna take a look at Ken's grip here. So Ken's gonna put up, so notice, Ken, um, being a male, obviously here, he's gonna go with a wider grip because he's got a wider rib cage. Ladies, you're gonna go a little more narrow than this, right? So pay attention to your grip. Yeah, you're gonna be somewhere in a couple inches from that break and the knurling on the bar. Ken's gonna push off the cage. He's gonna take it out, bring it over the chest. He's gonna come down and touch the sternum, okay? Bringing the bar down to Sternum, and driving back. Driving back ever so slightly. And of course, as we get heavier, we wanna just emphasize the retraction of the shoulders, sorry, the retraction and the depression of the shoulder blades. Okay, we're gonna do five, sorry, six sets of eight. You're gonna start off with about 50% of your 10 rep max. Next, we are going to do a bent over reverse grip barbell row. Okay, by the way, on that bench press, you're gonna wait two and a half to three minutes between each set. Okay, reverse grip. So Ken's gonna grab the bar about shoulder width or just a little bit wider than shoulder width. You can see with the hands. Notice his palms are facing up, hence the name reverse grip. He's going to hinge at the hips. Good, nice flat back. He's gonna let that bar come out. Good, and he's gonna pull into that lower midsection. Good, good stretch and he's gonna pull in, squeezing back the shoulder blades. Good stretch at the bottom. Keeping weight on the heels and of course, keeping those hips right back. If you have a hard time getting in this position, bend at the knees more, okay? That will allow you to bend, to bend over more and keep the back flat, okay? For those of you who don't have that flexibility in the hamstrings, okay? You are going to do five sets of 10. Guys are gonna start with 65 pounds. Ladies, you'll start with 45 pounds. Next, one arm seated overhead dumbbell press. So we're gonna set the bench to 60 degrees. Okay, now you could just sit upright on the bench with no support. That would make it a little more challenging. But for the sake of today, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna set the bench to 60 degrees. We're gonna lean back which is really like almost a very high incline press, but this is still uh, basically 100% shoulders. Ken is pressing right up and overhead here. Okay, and we're keeping that shoulder depressed. Squeezing the dumbbell in hand. Of course, keeping the midsection engaged as well. You're gonna do four sets of 10. Ladies, I'm gonna recommend that you start 12 to 15 pounds. And gentlemen, you're gonna start uh, 25 pounds or so on this one, 25 to 30 pounds. Awesome, and you'll go every two minutes on that, okay? Next, we're going to do a mid-grip pull-up, okay? So what does that mean? It's a little bit, little bit wider than the shoulders, okay? So wide grip would be obviously a, a wider um, grip, 
then shoulders, like a couple inches on, on either side. In this case, we're going to go just a little bit wider than shoulders. So Ken, actually bring those hands in just a bit closer. Just a bit closer. Yeah. Yeah. So just on the outside of the shoulders, essentially. Perfect. Yeah. And we're going to drop those hips down. We're going to make sure that the torso is perpendicular to the floor. We're going to pull back those shoulders. Good. And he's going to start with the depression of the shoulder blades. See? See that little depression there? He's going to drive those elbows back. Now, Ken, one thing I'm going to get you to do is to actually drive your elbows a little bit forward as you pull up. So, yeah, good. Okay? So, we're going to change it up a little bit here and just, just allow those elbows to go a bit forward. So, that's a perfect change right there, Ken. Good. Notice when he starts at the bottom. Watch the bottom here. Shoulder blades, then the arms, right? Perfect. And his, his body is completely perpendicular to the floor. Minimal help from the legs. Okay, you're gonna do four sets up to 15. Okay, and you'll go every two minutes. And lastly, we're going to do 21s. 21s can be with the barbell. Ken, oh, we'll, go, we'll go barbell on this one, yeah. So we'll just use the empty bar, which is what we would recommend the guys start with. Um, ladies, I'm gonna recommend that you do the curl bar, okay, for this one. So 21s, we haven't done this for quite some time. Um, it's a, basically, it's a barbell curl. We're going to do seven halfway to the top. And then we're going to do seven from the, from the midpoint to the top. And then we're going to do seven full ones. Okay? Make sure when you do the full ones, you fully extend at the elbow at the bottom. Look, straighten the arms at the bottom, okay? Awesome, Ken. That's great. Okay, we're going to do three sets of that. Okay, seven bottom half, seven top half, and then seven full. You'll go every two minutes. Again, guys, start with the big empty bar. Ladies, start with the empty curl bar. And that is it for the lift camp for Saturday, December 19th. And uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. And good luck. And hopefully I will see you here.